her Edwards. Coach, top of the morning to you. And if you want to remind Stephen A. how you were right and uh, he was wrong, just About go what? for it. About no, I, I, I think Stephen A. knows that already. I don't want to okay. be the bearer of bad news. What is she talking um, about? I don't have any oh, recollection about, of this. What what about Aaron Rodgers and, 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 and versus, versus your, your Cowboys? Yeah. And now the Cowboys are going to blow them out. And then Captain America, okay. Captain America going over there across the water in, in Germany, by the way, and, and right. winning the game. So I'm just yeah. I'm two for two. Yeah. I thought that yeah, people don't bring that up. I thought the Cowboys were gonna whip their you know what and yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. So the Cowboys actually How about them let Cowboys? Me down. Son. They actually yeah. Cowboys actually let me down. Herm coming right. in hot with a two and record. All right. All, right. All, right. all right, coach, I'm starting with you. Uh, do you think Tua is a top five quarterback? Yes. Yes, I do. And when you th when you consider this, um, new offense, new head coach, new coordinator, playing with uh, uh, a set of receivers that he's uh, getting familiar with, uh, I just listen to my eyes and watch him play, and I think every time he plays, he gets better. Very accurate with the ball. Uh, he can move in the pocket. Uh, he can throw on the run. His whole deal is just more reps with these receivers in this offense and really getting to know his coach who's calling the plays. I mean, this team is of 170. By the way, they're in first place. The Miami Dolphins, who would have thought that? Got a rookie head coach. An offense that every time I turn around, they just find a way to move the ball. My eyes tell me that he is a top five quarterback. His whole deal is just stay healthy. Just stay healthy. Oh, please. No, I don't feel that way at all. Now, okay. I will say, I will say, coach, I will say this. He's playing like one at the moment. I mean, if that was a question, fine. But there are, I, let me tell you something right now. When we talk about the top five quarterbacks, I don't care how they look over the last few weeks. I'm going, obviously, with Aaron Rodgers. I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. I'm going with Josh Allen. I'm going with Lamar Jackson. Okay, I'm going with Justin Herbert. I mean, that's, that's right there. I mean, before I even scour the rest of the league over the top of my head, those are five guys. I'm automatically, Joe Burrow, let me add that name into it. I'm automatically picking any of those dudes ahead of Tua Tungvaloa. I like him. I'm very proud of him. I'm happy what I'm seeing from him, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I get all of that. I don't have a uh, bias against short people the way Keyshawn does. Okay, I don't have none of those issues, all right? So, I, I mean, I ain't holding nothing against them, but that, I ain't going to call him top five. No, nah, that's going too far. I'm not giving him that. He looks like a, he looked like a top five guy over the last few weeks. I give credit where credit is good. Good. Is due, but when you got Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle to throw the damn football to, a lot of dudes will look that way. That's where yeah, I'm at. No, 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 it's, it's true. Over the last several weeks, he, you know, if you want to argue top five quarterback, yeah. But it's such a small sample size. You need a little bit more for me. I got about seven guys, maybe eight guys in front of Tua right now. And I, and I don't think any coach in America would take Tua over those seven or eight guys. I just, I don't see it. Look, you got to give him credit. He has grown on me since the beginning of the season, no question about it. He, is, he has put himself in a serious MVP conversation for this football season. There's no question about that either. But when you are throwing to Tyreek Hill and you are throwing to Jalen Waddle, it does make a difference, although he has to get him the football, and he's on a really good football team, and they're winning right now. The thing that I want to know, Herman, is you know this as a head coach, is what he doing portable? Can he go into Baltimore when it's cold? Can he go to Buffalo when it's cold? Or New England when it's cold? Or some of the teams that he may have to see on the road when it's cold? Cincinnati, for instance, and do some of the same things that he's doing in South Beach. Can he do that? And if he can, then hey, man, you, you're proving me wrong again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.